Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of Learn with Sir Glenn. So today, we're going to differentiate arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. So, let's go! The differences between the arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence are clearly stated on their definitions. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by adding a fixed number called the common difference. While the geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying a fixed number called the common ratio. So in the arithmetic sequence, you are adding a fixed number. In the geometric sequence, you are multiplying a fixed number. In the arithmetic sequence, you have the common difference, while in the geometric sequence, you have a common ratio. So meaning, if you are adding or you have a common difference on your sequence, that is arithmetic sequence. If you are multiplying or you have a common ratio on your sequence, and then that is geometric sequence. So for example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on. So since you are adding 2 on the terms of this sequence, then you have a common difference which is 2, then this is an example of arithmetic sequence. While the 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on, since you are multiplying 2 and you have common ratio of 2, then this is a geometric sequence. Okay, so let's try this. Determine whether the given sequence is arithmetic sequence or geometric sequence. So to do that, all you have to do is to determine if you are adding or multiplying or if you have a common difference or common ratio. So let's check. So 1, 4, 7, 10, and so on. Since you are adding 3 on the terms of this sequence, then you can say that the common difference is 3. Then this is an arithmetic sequence. So let's have another one. 1, 3, 9, 27, and so on. So obviously, you are multiplying 3 on the terms on the sequence. So therefore, your common ratio is 3. So this is a geometric sequence. Let's have another one. 1, 28, 64, 32, 16, and so on. So if you try to look for common difference or common ratio, you will have a common ratio, so which is... One half. So since you have a common ratio, then you have here a geometric sequence. So let's have the last one. So 32, 16, 0, negative 16. So you are actually adding negative 16 on the term. So therefore, the common difference is negative 16. And this is arithmetic sequence. And so that's it. We're done. So thank you for watching and hope you have learned something from this video.